It's one of the most advanced parts of a car. It's one of the hardest things to teach. So the normal person who works on a car will never understand it. When I first started working on cars, there was probably maybe one or two computers. And now we probably have 30 up to probably 50 computers. What would you recommend people do if they're experiencing electrical problems? First of all, go have somebody look at it that knows what they're doing. I think one of the biggest misconceptions right now is you hook a computer up and it tells you what's wrong with the car. That is so not true. It tells you where to look for a problem. These students back here that are working on these cars, they're, they're learning this stuff. That's how they're gonna make their money. You can't just go to the dealership and work there and learn this kind of stuff. They're not gonna sit down and teach you Ohm's Law. They're not gonna teach you how a brake system really works. So they have to be able to diagnose these problems. They have to understand how a computer works, how they talk to each other. In this kind of field, in the automotive field, that's something that they, they need to know for sure. I think here's the best way to get that kind of training.